Weekly News Taiwan's year of mountain tourism hit the high. Employment Gold Card for Foreign Professional Recruitment released 500 won in nearly three years. A Ukraine-born Taiwanese entertainer, Larissa Bakurova, being a first-time voter, promotes the new residents' voting in a successful video. New bilingual counseling training program for migrant workers. 2020 Taiwan New Resident Lantern Competition is on right now. Welcome to NIA News, good to be with you. 2020 Taiwan Lantern Festival is going to host in Taichung. The main exhibition area in Holy Forest Park will be the exhibition for the New Resident Cross Culture Marius team. Director of the Civil Affairs Bureau, Wu Shuei, stated that the new resident exhibition will be hosting lantern design competition as well to present the new resident's creativity and multicultural artistic style. And also, the creative new resident lantern design competition is open to every individual, family, and institution. The work will be judged by contemporary artists and lantern designers. The winner will be awarded prize and certificate and will be presented at the Lantern Festival in the new resident exhibition area. Bilingual counseling training program was started by the Singchu City Department of Labor and Service, the People Association, to help the migrant worker who suffer from physical and mental illness. The program helps the translator with the ability to help the counselor and the migrant worker in a second language. The program has been training translator with counseling ability in Indonesian, Vietnamese, Filipino, and Thai language. Since September 2019, until now, there are 46 trainees in total who has graduated from the training since the program started. In the future, Department of Labor will provide the list for those trainee translator in the police station and the Domestic Violence and Sexual Assault Prevent Center in order to help more people. And that's NIA News for this week. Thanks for watching.